Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of a vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to the bright side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on the Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds or a loved one off their meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have questions about the longevity products or formulations or ingredients, we can help demystify the world of health and nutrition. That's what we're here for every day on the Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. I like that. Demystify the world of medicine, the world of healing. It seems like a big mystery. And this is why, in my humble opinion, this is why when we're sick, we just automatically go to some authority figure. We go right away to the doctor to tell us what's going on. And surprise, surprise, the doctor can't help us for the most part, with the exception of emergency surgical procedures, perhaps. But for the most part, the doctor can't help us. If this, there's this mystery around our health challenges and around our diseases, but it's not mysterious when you understand the basic mechanisms underneath how the body is put together. And that's what we're all about here on The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Uh, or head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products right off the website. And you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website. If you want to join me in my mission to demystify the, the somewhat mysterious, seemingly mysterious human body in the world of nutrition, and you want to help change lives and make money at the same time, join me in my mission by calling 866-735-2470 and telling, you, telling them you want to join the Brightside Ben team or signing up right off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. If you're going to be in the Arizona area, if you're in the Phoenix area, I should say, Next week, October 10th, 11th, and 12th, I'll be doing talks for my friend Melissa Galladay. She's also a pharmacist, nutritional pharmacist, I might add. Uh, I'll be do doing talks for Melissa on the 10th, 11th, and 12th at the Prince of Peace Church, 3641 North 56th Street in Phoenix, zip 85018. We've got two talks planned each day, 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. First one at uh, the Prince of Peace Church, that's Monday, October 10th, 3641 North 56th Street in Phoenix. And then Tuesday, October 11th, in Gold Canyon at the Superstition FMD station number 264, and that's 7557 US 60 in Gold Canyon, 85118. And then uh, uh, Wednesday, October 12th, Sun City West Foundation in Sun City, Arizona, and that's at 14465 West R.H. Johnson Boulevard in Sun City. Call Rebecca Kozak at 480 842 1888 480 Four, uh, 480 842 1888. Rebecca Kozak for more information. Okay, welcome back once again to the bright side. Last we spoke, we were talking about NAG, N A G, a powerful version of glucosamine. Most folks have heard of glucosamine, and most folks have not heard of N A G, unless you've been listening to this program, because we've been talking a lot about it. N A G is a building block for some really important, famous biochemicals. 
We're going to talk about high aluronic acid, which we do periodically on this program because I absolutely love high aluronic acid. Say it slowly because it's somewhat hard to produce, uh, to pronounce. High aluronic acid. High aluronic acid is a really important ingredient in, skin, in the world of skin care. It's also an important ingredient as a supplement. And high aluronic acid is made up of NAG. And we're going to talk about that here in a couple of days because it's also made up of something else that's really important for detoxification. And we're going to talk about that uh, in, in the next few days. NAG is a building block for lots of things. Specifically, it's a building block for connective tissue. Now, this stuff is really, really important. I know we talk about it a lot on this program, but it, you can't really talk too much about connective tissue considering it may be the most important substance in the body. The connective tissue is the matrix that holds the body in place. It's as if all our organs and structures and, and even our nerves are embedded in this stuff. I just call it stuff. It's really technically called tissue, but just think of stuff. And our organs, our glands, our various structures inside the body, they're just embedded in this stuff. And the stuff, along with, uh, along with muscle, it's actually a combination of, of muscle tissue and connective tissue that form this stuff. This whole thing is candy coated with a protective lining, and the end result is what we call the human body, us. So you've got this stuff which is connective tissue and muscle tissue. It's all kind of embedded in each other. It's all wired electrically, and then it's covered up with a protective coating, and that's the human body. And the reason this is so important to understand is because if we don't know how we're made up, if we don't understand the, the basic structures, not all the little specific biomolecules, we don't need to understand all the specific stuff, but in a broad general fashion, if we don't understand how we're put together in a broad way, we're going to be misled, we're going to be tricked, we're going to be lied to by a pharmacomedical model that could care less about me, you, our parents, our children, our loved ones, our pets, anybody or anything that's alive because it's a, the pharmacomedical model is 100% focused on profit. That's what corporations are about. And the pharmacomedical model is like anything else, like all the, the big institutions. They're all corporations, and they're focused on money, and that's just the way it is. So what do we do? we got to become armed with knowledge. That's what we're about on the bright side. That's what my personal mission is, my spiritual mission, my professional mission, is to arm everyone with knowledge so that we can fight this info war, as my friend Alex Jones calls it. So we can fight this info war and so we can become armed with knowledge so we don't have to become victims of the medical model. Folks, I see the victims every day and it is heartbreaking. I can't even express to you how w the tragedy of it all. Yes, you know if it's you in your personal life, you know what a tragedy is, but I see it over and over and over again. It is absolutely heartbreaking, it is unnecessary, and it does, n it does us no good to rail and to complain and to whine about the medical model because that's how it is. So what do we do? We can become armed with knowledge. I don't want to be Mr. Science here. That's not my, I don't like being Mr. Science guy. But we live in a body and that means we have to understand the body or we're going to, when if we're going to fall apart. First of all, if we don't understand what the body, how the body is made up, we're going to fall apart. We're not going to be able to go to anybody to help us. There's nothing a doctor can do about it. We're going to fall apart anyway, you know? But we don't want to fall apart in a dramatic way. We don't want to fall apart in an accelerated way. The body is ultimately, that's called entropy in the body. Everything in the universe falls apart. But we don't want to do it at an accelerated rate. We don't want to do it when we're 30 or 40 or 50. Maybe when we're 90 or 100 or 110. So the way we're put together, to put it simply, is you got muscles and connective tissue and they're all kind of embedded. The muscle tissue and the connective tissue is embedded the way if you ever look at a steak, you see the meat in your steak is the, is the muscle and the, the gristle and the white stuff, that's the connective tissue. And that's kind of the way it's all embedded. And then it's, there's ner nerves that run through the whole thing, electrical wiring I call it, and then it's all covered up with a, a protective covering. The protective covering is called epithelia, technically speaking. And these four elements, these four substances, they're called tissues. Connective tissue, muscle tissue, nervous tissue, and epithelial tissue. That's it. That's all you really got to know. Yeah, there's chemistry that's involved. But as far as the vast majority of our health challenges, it involves the tissue, specifically the connective and muscle tissue. And I'll continue this when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. We are back on the 
right side. Farm Ben here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 at Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com. Also, pharmacistben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Got blog posts and news stories on all our websites, criticalhealthnews.com, too. You can purchase Longevity products off the websites, and you can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You and I can do this together. I'm on a mission. Make no doubt about it. I am going to be screaming this good news about how beautiful the human body is, how resilient and how powerful and how self-renewing and self-repairing it is. I'd be screaming it from the top of every rooftop I could find till, for, for the rest of my life, till the day I die. But I can't do this mission all by myself. We need a team. I'd love to have you on the team, and you will get paid. If you do it correctly, you'll get paid a lot of money or a little money or whatever you want because that's the way the business is structured. Spread the word, share the products, make some money. That's basically it. Spread the word, share the products, make some money because the products work for themselves and the, and the concepts work for themselves. You just got to share it. And you can make some money. You can make a little money. You can make a lot of money. All for a one-time $25 fee. And I started several businesses. I started numerous businesses, actually. And very rarely are you ever going to start a business for $25. Call uh, 866-735-2470 if you want more information. Or head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and sign up right off the websites. Oh, and if you want any truth, uh, any information or to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, truthtreatments.com. And you may want to take a look at our new Blemish Repair Complex, which we just put up there a couple of days ago. I haven't really talked about that one. That is a acne formulation that is also good for hangovers. How do you like that? Why? Because the same nutrients that help you with acne can help you detoxify alcohol. Acne, uh, in many ways, if, involves the liver, and that's the strategy I employed when I formulated my blemish repair complex. That's why you have NA NAC, that's why you have pantothenic acid, that's why you have the whole B complex, among other nutrients in our blemish repair complex, and we've already started to get testimonials on uh, our blemish repair complex as well. If you have acne or if you have uh, oily skin, or if you just want an overall blood tonic and liver tonic, Blemish Repair Complex up at truthtreatments.com along with our Truth 5% Retinol Gel, Truth Serum, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. Okay, so back to our story of the body, the story of the structure of the body, I should say. It's basically made up of four types of stuff, or tissue, as it's called. And they're all important, obviously. The nervous tissue is important. The epithelial tissue is important. There are diseases of the epithelia, particularly skin diseases. There are diseases of the, uh, of the nervous tissue, obviously. We all know about those, multiple sclerosis, muscular dystrophy, etc. But for the most part, for the most part, aging and disease is really a function of the connective tissue or maybe the connective tissue slash muscle tissue. It's hard to distinguish really the two because they're embedded in each other, but they're made up differently. So I will just call it connective tissue slash muscle tissue. This is where most of our problems are. This is where aging is. This is where the symptoms of aging, the visual symptoms of aging really takes, take place. Of course, the muscle tissue or the nervous tissue and epithelial, epithelial tissue are involved, but for the most part, our pain and misery are caused by a breakdown of connective slash muscle tissue, which comprises maybe 70 to 80 percent of the body, 70 to 80 percent of the body, maybe more even, but right around that area of the body is made up of connective tissue and muscle tissue, uh, the rest being surface tissue, epithelial tissue, and nervous tissue. And this makes understanding and how, how to build and how to address the connective tissue super important if we are going to stay healthy and youthful well into our uh, extended chronological age. Modern medicine can extend our lifespan today. Now, these days, we live to be 80 or so. 20 years ago, it was 60. In the 60s, 40 or 100 years ago, we lived to be in our 40s. But even though modern medicine has extended our lifespan, we're still falling apart. It hasn't done anything to keep us from falling apart. We still fall apart, and some, sometimes distressingly so, even if we make it to 85 or 90. The trick to being 85 or 90 is not just to be 85 or 90, it's to be 85 or 90 and standing tall. It's to be 85 or 90 and having strong bones and muscles. It's to be 85 and 90 and being able to walk really fast or even run. There's a YouTube video of a guy running up the Empire State Building stairs, and he's in his 90s. That's the kind of 80, uh, longevity we want. 
And this involves understanding the connective tissue and the muscle tissue in a large part. Now, we always say on this program that all disease is cell disease. Oh, that's, that's a, uh, that is a pillar of the bright side philosophy. All disease is cell disease. And in the world of connective tissue, the 25 or so percent of the body that holds everything together, that's this, it's no different. So when we talk about the health of the connective tissue, what we're really talking about is the health of the connective tissue cells, the cells that make the connective tissue. Yes, the cells that extrude it. Think Plato fun factory. That's what a cell is in general. Even though there's 200 or so different cells, basically they're all working to extrude stuff, to secrete stuff. Stuff comes out of the cells. That's how the body works. And the connective tissue is exactly the same as any other part of the body. It is extruded out of cells like Plato out of a Plato fun factory extruder machine. And in the world of connective tissue, the cells that are responsible for the production of the stuff, the stuff that makes the connective tissue, that extrudes the connective tissue, they're called fibroblasts, and they are major players in the world of health. If you're going to understand connective tissue, you've got to understand the fibroblasts. Fibro meaning fiber. Blast is the, is the biochemical word for making or, or producing. A fibroblast produces Fibers, fibroblasts produce fiber. It's pretty simple. Fibroblasts produce fibers. And once we understand that it's all about the connective tissue, then we understand it's all about the fibroblasts. You want to do anything you could do to cause these fibroblasts to, to maintain the health of these fibroblasts. In fact, a case could be made. If, you, if, we take, if, if we understand the connective tissue and the muscle tissue have their own version of fibroblasts, they're called myoblasts, basically the same thing, but they make muscle. And if, we, if we're, if we're going to go as far as to say that the muscle and the, fi and the connective tissue are what it's about for aging, for anti-aging, for strength and performance and feeling good uh, about life from a physical perspective, if we understand the connective tissue slash muscle tissue, uh, the, the importance of this, this part of the body, then all of a sudden you can see how important the fibroblast is. Or in the case of the muscles, the myoblast. In fact, and we'll just call it the fibroblast. The fibroblast can be thought of as the king of the body in terms of the cells, the cellular king of the body. In our raisin bread model, we always talk about the raisins and the bread. And when we talk about raisins and bread, I would say the body is made up of, ra just like raisins are embedded in bread, except it's cells and stuff. The major cells that are making the stuff, they're the fibroblasts. The fibroblasts are the raisins. The stuff, is the, it, it, the stuff is the connective tissue slash muscle tissue for the most part. The, the bread, the cell, the raisins can be thought of as the fibroblasts, the cells, and the bread can be thought of as what is called extracellular matrix. That means the stuff outside the cell. Extracellular means outside the cell. I'll just call it ECM. The ECM is the bread. The fibroblasts are the raisins. And keeping that ECM healthy is job number one for anti-aging. And that involves working on the raisins. And there's lots of great supplements you can take. And NAG is one of them, folks. And acetylglucosamine for your raisins to make better bread. All right. Got so much more to say, and uh, we'll continue this discussion when we come back from our break and get to your phone calls as well. 844-236-6010 is our number on ph Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com. And if you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in just a sec. From the journal Hepatology, serious liver-related condition on the rise in the United States. New analysis reveals that cirrhosis and acute chronic liver failure represent a substantial and increasing health and economic burden in the United States. Folks, this is serious, serious business. The liver is arguably the most important organ in the body after perhaps the heart and the brain. Liver, produ uh, liver cells are capable of performing 500 different functions. Think about that. How can a cell possibly produce 500 different substances? 
this is mind boggling how this whole thing works. The liver is responsible for detoxification. It's a digestive organ. It processes fats and proteins and sugars. If you've got a liver issue, you have a food issue or perhaps an alcohol issue. You're it has to do with what we're ingesting. The liver is responsive to what we ingest, which tells you that if we have 100 million Americans or more with liver health issues, liver diseases, hospitalizations, number of hospitalizations for cirrhosis nearly doubled from 2001 to 2011, doubled. And by the way, NAC, which you'll find in our blemish repair complex, is one of the most important liver nutrients you could ever use. NAC, NAC, and acetylcysteine, along with vitamin E, which you'll also find in our blemish repair complex. I formulated the blemish repair complex for the liver, by the way. Anyway, the liver is a digestive organ. If you have a liver problem, you have an ingestion problem. And the combination of a lack of nutrition with the excess ingestion of sugar and the wrong kinds of fats and the wrong kinds of foods and drugs. And by the way, your drugs are, are uh, your drugs. I, I was going to say your drugs are handled by the liver. I was going to say the liver detoxifies, detoxifies the drugs, but I'm going to say in a different way. Drugs poison the liver. Yes, a drug is a poison. It goes into the liver. By definition, drugs poison the liver. Now, you can argue about the degree that your prescription drugs poison your liver. And yes, it's true, probably. That this is, they mitigate the degree because they've got to keep us going to the pharmacy. If they killed us, we couldn't, they couldn't profit off of us. If a virus kills its host, it doesn't spread. So the virus that we call the pharmacomedical model, mind virus or otherwise, soul virus, the virus we call the pharmacomedical model needs us alive. So in any case, the drugs aren't necessarily going to kill you, but they're not going to do your liver any good, and a case could be made that they're poisoning your liver. And that's really interesting if you have liver disease and then they give you drugs. Anyway, I'm feeling a little rambunctious this morning. The Mechanisms of Diabetes Induced Bone Fragility. This one from the Journal of International Osteoporosis. Diabetes is a major cause of bone fragility because sugar degrades bones. Sugar reacts with protein. Sugar reacts with living protein to caramelize it, to make it sticky and in ineffective. Osteoporosis is in many ways part of the whole blood sugar, dis messed up blood sugar syndrome that we're all dealing with. In fact, all degenerative diseases are, and this is why the blood sugar system is the foundation of the triangle of, of disease. This comes as, as a, uh, news to the modern medical model. This comes as, as high research and science, but all you got to do is understand how the body works. Sugar degrades the body, including the liver, by the way. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Sam in Texas. Good morning, Sam. Good morning. What's up? Hey, thanks so much for taking my call. Sure. Oh, my what's daughter going? has been diagnosed with Lyme disease. Okay. What? Well, what's, and is it an acute thing or is it a long-term chronic thing? I guess it's long-term. Okay. Uh, they found it after, a, I guess it was a few months. And I, the, the bizarre what, thing What do you is, mean they found it? They found the infection? They found the, the, the bacteria? Yeah, I found the infection. So okay. uh, she had some swelling behind her knee. And uh -huh. um, the, so it turned out they did blood. After, finally, my wife actually requested that they test her for Lyme. And guess what? She came back with Lyme. And did they, uh, what did they give her? I have. They gave her an antibiotic? Oh, antibiotics. Yeah. Do you know what, what it was, what they gave her by any chance? Oh, I don't recall because right. it's That's been right. probably a year now. Okay. How old is she? 16. And does she still has symptoms? Is that the the issue here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. she does. Um, All right. But we've been kind of, uh, we're not going to let it define her. She's an athlete. Well, no, you know, no, no. You don't have to. But here's the know. thing about Lyme disease. This is very important. There's a lot of controversy about Lyme disease. There is an acute Lyme disease that is very easy to treat with, with amoxicillin or doxycycline or just general standard antibiotics. It usually works very effectively. Okay. Then there is the chronic Lyme disease, and there's no real proof or evidence of this, even though I hear about it all the time. I'm a scientist, okay, so I got to be a little skeptical 
I just unless I can unless you actually see the infection, the bacteria, not not acutely, but in a chronic long term sense, if you see that the body's infected, I'm still I'm going to be skeptical. Skeptical, and considering how poorly we eat and how malnourished we are, I'm not convinced that what we call chronic Lyme disease, which manifests as chronic fatigue and feeling crappy and mental confusion, these are all the things she, that she's dealing with. Correct? Right. Okay, so this is, this is, they call this chronic Lyme disease. I'm not convinced that it's not just the manifestations of malnutrition and just a lousy lifestyle. And whether or not that's true, I don't know. I'm just telling you I'm skeptical. I, I don't have an answer for that. But what I can tell you is your job should be to make her stronger and make her better. Lyme disease or not. You follow? And this is how all disease needs to be addressed. Forget your, the name of the disease. It doesn't matter. It's a diversion. In, in, in magic, they call it misdirection. They want you looking away from the problem and towards the name. You follow me? We treat the name yes. because we can't treat the problem because there's no wizard behind the curtain. It's a, a, a humbug. There's nobody behind the medical model wizardry. They can't help you. So they give you a diagnosis and then they treat the diagnosis. It's just smoke and mirrors. And this is why nobody gets better because we're treating a diagnosis. So let's treat the body. Let's make her strong and healthy. You with me? Yes. Okay. So, so forget the Lyme do? disease. Let's just make her strong and healthy. She's 16. Mm -hmm. She's burning through, through nutrition. And if she doesn't have the good stuff, if she doesn't have uh, the raw materials for building the body, there's no way she's going to build effectively and she's going to she's going to be running on empty basically so first and foremost we got to patch up the gut okay that means look for digestive issues i'm not saying they're guaranteed there but they're it's very likely that they're there you follow me it's not 100 percent but it's 90% or 95%. So work on the gut first, all right? Look for digestive health issues. This is true for if you're dealing with arthritis or Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's or chronic Lyme or whatever. This is just a general protocol, all right? First and foremost, you look to the gut. This is the main point of entry into the blood and everything involves blood toxicity. All uh, chronic health challenges involve blood toxicity to some degree. So work on the gut first. Hang on, because I'm going to go through this. Um, I'm going to go through this in some detail when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. is our number sam in texas talking about lyme disease sam you there yes sir okay so here's the deal lyme chronic lyme disease whether you have it or you don't i don't know the answer to that but what i do know is what you want to do is you want your little girl to feel strong and healthy and vital right it right. doesn't matter what you call it. It doesn't matter if she said she never loses this diagnosis of Lyme disease. If she feels awesome and strong and she's healing well and she's building tissue and she's smart and clear headed, that's what counts, right? Right. Oh, uh, you sound you, you don't sound like a believer there, Sam. Did that make sense? Oh, How no, no, that? absolutely. No, okay, that's why I'm calling you because I <laughs> okay, want to start. I don't I've, I watched my cousin's kid and wife have Lyme. And I watched his daughter, who was also an athlete, go from being an athlete to like, almost like debilitated quickly? because they put them on, they put them in the hospital and go on these 24-hour-a-day antibiotics that absolutely exactly. How do you know body. it's not the 24-hour-a-day antibiotic that they give you that kills your gut bacteria that makes you sick? Absolutely. <laughs> Is that crazy? <laughs> it's, yeah. it's. I mean, I'm laughing. It's not funny. It's just absurd, really. Yeah, they crank right. you full of stuff that makes you sick, and then they send you home and tell you you got chronic Lyme disease. So anyway, here's what you got to do. The gut is the most important place, especially when there's bacteria. Whenever you hear bacteria, think the gut. Well, you always want to think the gut, but especially when you have an infection or bacteria because good bacteria fight bad bacteria. Good bacteria fight funguses. Good bacteria fight the bad guys, and they live in the gut. So getting on a probiotics, uh, first of all, eliminating problem foods. Always that's first. It helps to fast for a couple of days. This is true for everybody dealing with a chronic health challenge. If you talk to me on the phone, you know this is what I tell everybody. You stop eating. You do, this is called a pattern interrupt in the world of NLP and hypnosis. You stop. Boom. Just put the brakes on. You stop eating. You don't put anything in the intestine. The intestine stays clean for two or three days, if you can. If you can't, do a little bit of lemon juice or whatever the minimum. You want, to, you want to give the intestine a break. Then you start eating foods one at a time, beginning with your favorite foods, and you look for symptoms. 
and then you start eliminating foods. That's, uh, you write things down and then you eliminate foods. That's called a food diary and elimination diet. That's what everybody needs to do if they're dealing with a chronic long-term health challenge. Pattern interrupt by fasting and then do an elimination diet in combination with a food diary. Okay? That's step number one. Okay. And you can do a Swero V cleanse too. Uh, Longevity has made it easy. Jordan Rubin has made it easy to go into your fast. They call it a Swero V cleanse. That's where you do Swero V, an hour, uh, a bottle of Swero, uh, half a bottle of Swero V every hour for a couple of days. You can do it that way too. Okay. Tell me again the name of the product and I'll. Swero V. S U E R O V I E. Swero V. You get it from Longevity. It's fermented whey with electrolytes. And Jordan, I don't know if you heard of Jordan Rubin, but he's kind of a digestive health specialist and quite a brilliant guy when it comes to understanding the digestive system. He formulated this product and they use it to, for folks who don't want to do a complete fast. I like a complete fast, but the Swero V is also good too. It gives you some energy. I swear V is great anyway, just in the middle of the day. And it is very ketogenic, I, should, I might add, the swear V, for, guy, for you guys doing the ketogenic diet. Highly ketogenic. I should write that down. I don't have to talk about that. Uh, anyway, uh, then you do probiotics, fermented foods and also probiotic supplements. Sauerkraut, miso, tempeh. Uh, kefir, if she can do dairy. If dairy's on the list, you could probably, you, you're going to have to experiment with the kefir. Get on the nightly essence, do nine a day. Have her do grinding up flax seeds and doing flaxseed fiber every day. Okay, grind up some flax seeds, put it in some coconut right. milk, do flaxseed okay, fiber. Okay, what was the other product? Nightly something? Nightly essence from Longevity. Nightly essence. It's the best okay. probiotic supplement I know of. I, you want her doing nine a day. Flax fiber, you're going to grind that up and put it in coconut milk. Then you want to make sure she's doing vegetable juices. Vegetable juices. Uh, the, veg- the fiber is important for the gut, and the vegetables will give her energy. Find vegetables she can do. The, just don't, vegetables are not necessarily benign. Some people have problems with, with certain vegetables, so just gotta kind of pay attention to it. Go savory rather than sweet, and use lots of salt in your vegetable juices and spices in your vegetable juices, particularly cayenne, which is very energizing. Then uh, you keep her blood sugar stable. She, if she's an athlete, I don't know if she's, I don't know if she's an athlete, but she's probably just you know kid, kid like athletic. So you should have her keeping her sh- being aware of hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, and stabilizing the sugar, not doing things that spike the blood sugar. Keeping it stable and going for more protein. The more athletic she is, the more protein she needs. Make her smoothies every day. Protein smoothies, bone broth smoothies. Chicken soup, bone soup with the chicken soup with the bones. Any liquid protein is going to be in her interest. Make sure she's doing copious, generous amounts of essential fatty acids and fats. Her ultimate EFAs, nine a day, a little bit of coconut oil, butter. You make sure she's getting enough fat and make sure she's getting enough salt. And then thirdly, if you can do this with a kid, it's hard sometimes with a kid, have her relaxing, relaxing the body. Now, she may already feel relaxed. Oh, well, but she sometimes does that. You can, she literally she, naps every okay. day. But sometimes you can be <laughs> stressed and relaxed. Sometimes you can be st- or stressed and tired. It's not the same as relaxed. But if she's napping every day, that's a very good thing. Does she wake up refreshed? Uh, if she's well, not waking up refreshed, she's in high that's school, a sign. So no, she doesn't wake up refreshed. If, if she, she doesn't wake up refreshed, that could be a sign that she's not getting quality sleep, and that could be the cortisol. Yeah. So the the first two uh, the first two elements, the digestive and the blood sugar, will ha- help with that. Get her on the mighty ninety essential nutrients as well, and don't worry about the chronic Lyme disease diagnosis. Worry about her and how strong and vital and clear-headed uh, and uh, how well she recovers and heals from injury. All of those are much more important factors than the diagnosis itself. Okay? Fantastic. Thanks so much. All right, Sam. Have a great day, man. Good to talk to you. All right. Okay, let's go to Peter in Washington. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. Yes, good morning. How are you? I'm good. What's going on? This is my first time on your show, and I'm loving what I'm hearing. Uh, oh, I love it. I have, is, is this the first yeah. time you've listened to the show, Peter? Yes. How did you hear about it? Uh, I'm with Longevity, and so my mentor uh, told me to listen to this immediately tomorrow morning. Mm. Who's your mentor? Uh, George. Okay I, okay, I don't know George. But, um, yeah, we talk about this every day. This is the kind of stuff we talk about, and it's a little bit sciencey and technical, but it's some good information and very valuable. So tell your friends. Oh, I will, absolutely. I have um, AFib, and okay. I have esophageal reflux. I've had They're the reflux connected. all my life as a baby. The AFib, yep. I think, is there as well. I had a flutter that was um, supposedly, it, it hasn't come back. It was fixed through the ablation of the aorta. 
Okay, but hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, Pete, because we're going to run out of time. Uh, yeah. I deal with this all the time, okay? First of all, for the listeners, ablation is when they run an electrical current through the heart and they, they literally cauterize it. They do this to keep the AFib at bay. AFib and flutter, as, as Peter was explaining, is a rhythm problem. The heart is out of rhythm. Uh, reflux is a sign that you're not absorbing nutrients, and reflux is also a sign that the body is in distress. Reflux is a manifestation of an, of a, of the, um, an activated emergency nervous system. AFib will cause an emergency. Ablation will cause an emergency. It's a vicious cycle because the reflux is a sign of emergency which could be caused by the AFib, and it can in turn cause the AFib. So it's a, a circle that you're going through. You got more things going on, guaranteed, Peter. It's not. This is not yeah. your only problem. So how old are you, by the way? Uh, I'll be 55. Okay, so this, you don't have time to waste here, my friend. Okay, you're already... No, I know. Okay, good. First of all, you've got to calm the body down because this is the manifestation of an activated emergency nervous system, both of these things, and everything else going on in the body. Now, you haven't heard this program before, but this is a foundation of what we talk about. There is the, act, the emergency nervous system, the so-called parasympathetic... Ner I'm sorry, the so-called sympathetic nervous system needs to be calmed down. And the first thing to do is breathing. Slow, deep breathing. This is the main role of the blood, is to deliver oxygen. It's the main role of the heart, is to deliver oxygen through the blood. So without slow, deep breathing, your heart is going to be in distress. Without oxygen, I should say. And slow, deep breathing will get you the oxygen. You should be doing it right away. Slow, deep, rhythmic breathing. That means in through the nose, out through the nose. Uh, exhale more than you inhale. Slowly is very important. If you do it too fast, you get the opposite effect, which you don't want. So maybe six, seven seconds in, nine seconds or so so out, always exhale more. And uh, uh, rhythmically, you want to go into a rhythm. Boom, 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 boom. The rhythm is what calms the body down. Next thing is blood sugar. You got to keep your blood sugar low. I'm going very fast. I'm not giving you everything, but this, these are good places to be. Uh, this is good information for you. Stabilize the blood sugar by keeping your sugar, uh, your intake of sugar, blood sugar spiking foods down and supporting sugar metabolism with the Sweeties from Longevity, the uh, uh, Fucoid Z, the Ultimate Selenium, and the Ultimate Niacin. Then throw in the entire Healthy Start Pack as well. Last but not least, if you have any digestive health issues, you've got to fix those up. You've got to patch up the gut. This is where everything really, be this is where all the distress really begins, as we, we talked about with our last caller. Peter, i got to motivate. We're out of time. But thank you for calling. You can send me an email, Ben nice. at KSCO.com, and put your phone number in there, and I'll get back you personally okay thanks peter thanks for listening man all right that is all the time we have for today we will continue talking about extracellular matrix and nag and acetylglucosamine which you'll get in aloe vera uh, and the oxy body from longevity as well if you're doing longevity products have an awesome wonderful beautiful spectacular day we will talk to you all later bye for now